Hey everybody, thanks for watching A Guy Doing Stuff. I'm Adam, and today I'm going to be putting a fiberglass epoxy seal on the outside of my cedar strip canoe. If you're actually putting a fiberglass epoxy seal on a canoe for the first time ever, before you do anything, you should go on the internet and read everything you can find on the subject and watch every video about fiberglass in a canoe you can find on YouTube. It's totally doable for an amateur, but there are so many ways to screw this up and if you don't do it right, there's no reversing it, so you want to make sure you're 100% ready before you start. Here's what you're going to need. Fiberglass cloth, clear coat epoxy resin and hardener, pre-marked cups with the ratios for mixing your epoxy, stir sticks, squeegees for the first coat, foam rollers for the rest of the coats, and a couple friends to help you out. Like always, I'm putting details for all this stuff in my video description. You need to do three coats with about three hours in between each coat, so you should block out a full day for this. After the canoe is sanded and dust free, I roll the fiberglass cloth on. You're supposed to avoid touching the cloth because oil from your hands can get on it, so you should use a clean paintbrush to push out any wrinkles. I'm using Art Composites two-part epoxy with a slow hardener. Once it's mixed, the pot life is about 15 minutes, so you have to mix a bunch of small batches as you work. I start close to one end of the canoe. I pour the epoxy directly onto the fiberglass, and as it soaks in, you can see that the fiberglass goes totally transparent. You work the epoxy around with a squeegee to help it soak in. I spread towards the closer end first. I work to the very end, cut the excess fiberglass off, and then wet out the end as best I can. When I finish that end, I go back to where I started, and I work towards the other end of the boat. You always want to try to work from a wet edge as much as possible. Every once in a while, I go back to where I was working a couple minutes ago, and kind of squeegee out the excess epoxy to give it a nice even coat. You can see for this first coat that the texture of the fiberglass should be clearly visible. I've used a couple different epoxy brands and I really like this Arc Composite stuff. It's really easy to work with and it's supposed to be one of the more clear, the major epoxy brands. I put a link for it in the video description. Here's a time lapse of the whole thing. This first coat took us just under two hours. Okay, the first coat is done and I'm feeling pretty good about it. We have about three hours till the next coat, so I use this time to clean everything up, organize the shop for round two, and get something to eat. I start the next coat when the previous coat is still tacky. The exact length of time varies depending on the temperature. We're using foam rollers for this coat. I'll either pour the epoxy on and roll it out, or dip the roller in a tray and apply it. The first coat bonds the fiberglass to the wood, while the rest of them fill up the texture of the fiberglass and make a smooth shell. The rest of the coats are way less stressful than the first because the fiberglass is already in place, it doesn't take as long, and you don't have to use as much epoxy. Okay, just finished round two and feeling pretty good. We'll clean up, prep, and eat again, and then we'll do the third coat. All the subsequent coats go on pretty much the same as the second coat. After either the third or fourth coat, you shouldn't be able to see the texture of the fiberglass cloth anymore. I try to get these on as even as possible, but it's going to end up running and being a little lumpy, and that's okay, because after this cures, you're going to have to sand it to an even finish anyways. We just finished the third coat. Originally, I was only going to do three coats, but some of the texture of the fiberglass is still visible, so I'm going to do one more light coat tonight. Here's what it looks like after four coats. I've said this before, I don't claim to be an expert on any of this stuff. This is only my second time doing it. If you've made it this far, you should be able to successfully do this as long as you read all the manufacturer instructions and do plenty of research. I put a couple links to some good resources in the video description. Thanks to my helpers today, and thanks to everybody that's been watching my videos and following the process. I really appreciate all the encouragement and support. Thanks for watching A Guy Doing Stuff. Don't forget to hit subscribe.